Hi there, I am Tanya Windeke and I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Have you ever felt like or have a, had that really strong belief that what happened to you in the past, in your childhood, all this trauma, abuse, assault, neglect and so forth, has really ruined your life? You know, it stopped you from having a fulfilling, happy future. It's like, you know, you just damaged goods. But it really felt like this for me. It's like this really deep sense, you know, that my life is ruined. I'll never be able to go out and have loving and caring relationships. I'll never be able to go out there and have a successful career and be happy and feel like I have a purpose and so forth. So I was really, really stuck. I, I really thought that my past ruined my life. So it took me a while to realise that there's actually not really a connection there. You know, our past cannot determine our future. But I also had the thought if I would go out and I would be really happy and have success in my life and so forth, that then that would kind of give the people who abused me or the toxic people from the past the message that what they did to me was actually not that bad. So I had to be very clear here that this is not the case. Okay? No amount of happiness you have now, you can be the happiest person on the planet, it does not take away the fact that what they did to you, how they treated you, all that trauma and abuse was not okay. okay? So people regard this as criminal and illegal and it's always going to stay that way. And that was really important for me to get that really into my head and really change that belief I had for myself to realize that, hey, things can change, you know. And at that point, I had no idea what I wanted my future to look like because I would always thought that my life's ruined. There's nothing that were going to change, you know. I was at home, hiding away, not really wanting to do socialized or anything like that, you know, I was just feeling miserable and there was all this pain from the past. So, but now do we kind of realize, hey, my past cannot determine my future. So what do I actually want my future to look like? You know, to have to start wondering, you know, and, and, and visualizing a better future for myself. And I so want you to do that too, you know, to kind of find your true potential and capabilities and believe in yourself again and, and go out there and head towards those dreams that you have and believe that you can have a better future, you know. You're worthy of a better future. You're worthy of having a successful, fulfilling life. And you're worthy of having love in your life. No matter what happened to you in the past. Okay? So our past cannot determine our future. So with that, I hope you go out there and dream and visualize an amazing future for yourself. Okay? You're worth it. With that, lots and lots of love and rainbows as always to brighten up the tough times just a little. Bye for now.